So you find uh, with this uh, biogas system, uh, as simple as it is, um, you are not limited to the apparatus you're going to put inside the, the unit. So you find like for instance, uh, me, when I started the unit, I started with the base. So we started with the cow slurry. Then immediately after doing the cow slurry, I went to the kitchen and started collecting the waste elements that you find in the kitchen from the peelings of the potatoes, from other um, leftovers you find in the kitchen. Like you'd imagine when you cook your, your ugali, you have that uh, scrap thing. You come and uh, put it inside the unit and mixes up with the effluent that is around, it still produces methane. So you find you are not supposed to have a, a stereotypical thinking whereby you still have to think uh, uh, backdating to how you used to have the old school uh, biogas unit done specifically mounted on uh, the cow dung uh, slurry. So you can do a cow dung slurry uh, application like maybe once, once uh, or twice a week, and then the rest you subsidize with the kitchen left leftovers. With these ones, we have the, the amaranth and the spinaches that are, uh, that are not maybe fit for consumption. So instead of taking them to the uh, dustbin for waste, you chop them in small bits that can be facilitating uh, the unit to receive from the opening mouth. And as you place it in the unit, it will start uh, disintegrating and decomposing. So with the decomposition part of it, uh, it will be able to change its properties and uh, be able to come up with a biofuel to create the methane gas. Yeah. So once you have chopped the, 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 uh, the, the refuses, the green refuses, you have to add water so that you can help it go down the system and uh, assist in a, a smooth flow. So you find it is helping you as a farmer or a, as an end user to clean the most uh, maybe um, uh, question we have in the kitchen, where do I take uh, uh, my eggshells after cooking the eggs? That unit, but you have to mash them and apply them there. So you find uh, all in all, it is uh, symbiotic in terms of it's cleaning up the, 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 the environment. So when it comes to uh, energy saving, you save, and uh, we are not going to be um, finger pointing the LPG gas, it's also user friendly, but when it comes to cost, you need to check on which one can subside each other when you're using them. This is very, very hot. Actually, it's very fast. You can't compare bomb gas with, uh, with gas. Uh,